Hello guys, KP Shamino here with another guide for Farming Simulator 2017 and in this guide I'm going to show you guys everything about sheep. So what they eat, uh, how you need to breed them, uh, how you need to uh, sell the wool, uh, how you need to get them and all that stuff. So first of all what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys uh, what kind of equipment that you need. So I bought this field. Uh, this amount of grass here gives like 50,000 uh, liters of grass. That's more than enough. So with that amount, you can easily get like uh, 1,000, 1,500 sheep uh, in total. And every day you still can feed them with this small amount. So you don't need a field like I did. I bought this field for 170,000 euros, but you don't need that. So first of all, this is the equipment that you need to have for grass. If you guys uh, yeah, want to check a detailed tutorial about it, just go to check my mowing uh, grass tutorial. So it's just the mowing equipment. There is my uh, wind rower and this is my cedar. So I'm not going to go in detail for that because you guys just can check the other tutorial. Otherwise, this one is going to take way too long. There you can see that's my uh, loading wagon, that's to pick up the grass, that's my water tank because they need water too. I will show them all in detail later on how you need to use them. Uh, then you need to have a beast trailer to get the sheep. It's not ne really necessary to have this, you can just buy them, but you are going to give a fee if you don't. Uh, transport them by yourself. Then of course you need a tractor, very important, otherwise you cannot move all that stuff. Then you need a front loader. I'm using uh, a wrapped bale handler because I think that's the easiest. I tried the pellet uh, handler, but that was not so easy. So a pellet fork because for the guys that know it, if you need to strap that shit, if you need to put it on on a, on a tipper, that's very hard, you know. I tried it after five minutes, to be honest. I don't go into do that stuff. So you can just throw the, the pellets with wool in a tipper and that works too. And it's a million times easier. And then you got, of course, the tipper. So that is all the material that you need. Uh, so grass, water, uh, sheep eat, uh, they get wool and then you can transport it. That's roughly set what you need to do. But of course, I'm going to show you guys it too. So first of all, we are going to get some sheeps and where you can get those sheep, uh, it's with Mary's farm. So let's go to the map. So Mary's farm is all the way at the, the right bottom. You guys can see it here. Let's go to the overall map. Then I can uh, point it out with my uh, mouse cursor. So it's over here. You even see like, a small icon here, an animal seller or livestock seller. But you can, of course, do this too. So you just click on it, you just visit it, you teleport uh, to that uh, position. And then once you are here, if you stand on this platform or uh, marker on the ground, you will see that you can go to open animal dialog. If you do that, you can just buy sheep. Uh, pigs and cows so just click on the sheep and then you can just buy them and you will see now you are paying uh, a fee to get the sheep so the fee is thousand a sheep cost by the way four thousand you can sell a sheep back and then it's only thousand six hundred so because you are going to b uh, breed the sheep so every day you get like a sheep sometimes it goes faster th with the amount of sheep that you got but you guys will see it later so that's how you do it the way without an animal trailer so you can just buy them but you of course you are going to have to pay a fee okay now it's time to show you guys it with my uh with my tractor so here we are and i'm going to drive now to mary's farm so let's get going. Hey okay, guys, I arrived at Mary's farm. So you just need to do the same. You just drive over the marked area. Then you open animal dialogue and now you can buy the sheep here. So let's buy five sheep for the video. 
so when you guys already can see i don't need to pay the fee now so the fee is just for traveling cost so let's buy them and now we got five sheep more and now i'm back off to the sheep farm okay guys we are almost back on the sheep farm so it's time to deliver the sheep i had some uh, couple of accidents <laughs> underway but uh, but you guys know that's uh, normal when i'm driving a tractor so what you need to do now is if you come on the sheep farm you just go here to this area and that's the area that you can unload or load the sheep of course so just come over here and then you just need to uh, go to open animal dialog again so that's pushing r then take the sheep unload just click them and now we got five more sheep so that was step one in becoming a very good sheep farmer so now we got the sheep so you just go to mary's land without or with the trailer it doesn't matter only that you need to pay a fee okay so now we are going to check a little bit more in detail what sheep need so let's go to the menu so if you go to the menu and you go to the animal section this is a sheep so here you see how many sheep that i got what the product productivity is a day that's very important that is very high because the lower the productivity the less wool that you are going to have that's normal so here you see the wool so i'm going to get one bale of wool uh, if that is 100 percent now i it's at 30 percent so it's going to take some time until i'm going to produce a little bit more wool very important is guys if you start sheep farm there is a glitch so I had the two. So I had like 10 sheep at the start, but this was not going up. What you need to do is you need to close down your game. So you totally close down your game. You do a restart and then you are probably going to see uh, your wool again. But it's a glitch. If you started, I had the same. Then you got clean uh, li uh, cleanliness and that's uh, not so important. It's only... Uh, going to be 10% uh, of the productivity you guys can already see it so it's almost at 50% uh, at the moment and I lose 4% uh, productivity so if you don't want to do that yeah it's only 10% loss but I'm going to show you guys it it's very easy so yeah just do it it's not that problematic then you got water and then you got hay and grass this number is going up with the amount of sheep that you got so and here are my calculations so i did a calculation what amount uh, of water that the sheep needs every day and what amount of grass that the sheep needs every day and i come to the conclusion i'm going to check my paper so one sheep needs 30 liters of grass and 50 liters of uh, water every day so that's how you can calculate it that you got enough field with grass and all that stuff so it's a, it's a lot but uh, yeah, that's what you need. So that's a little bit the information that you guys need. So what we are going to do now is I'm going to show you guys how you need to keep them clean. And what is uh, keeping them clean? So you are going to feed them. They make a mess and that's what you need to clean. Where you need to put the water and where you need to put the grass or the hay. I'm going to do it with grass because that's a little bit easier. Okay, so let's do a run around the farm. So you only got like three points. This is the first point. I already uh, say said to you guys what you need to do here. So here you need to put the water. So here you see the, the water uh, boxes. And here you need to put the water. What I did was I just put a placeable here. And uh, this uh, placeable is giving me water. I know you can just run around here and fill up this uh, water tank but yeah this is a little bit easier and i think in the future if i got more sheep uh, i'm going to need a lot of more water and uh, i think this is going to be a little bit easier at at the long term uh, for my sheep farm so let's get the tractor and i'm going to show you guys what you need to do with the water tank so let's get this tractor let's drive to the water tank
I need to attach this tractor to the water tank, otherwise it's not going to work. Okay, and if you go now to the F1 screen, you guys will see that I can unload this water tank. I think I can, this water tank can handle 7,500 water. So now it's still more than enough. And you only can give water and food for six days. So that's how I could calculate the amount of water and food that the sheep needs every day otherwise i could not know that stuff so now you can just unload it and you guys will see that i'm going to unload this water tank so here you see it the animals can only have for six days water i can understand that otherwise you put it here and uh, in this and a couple of months you just come back and it's still okay so that's the water tank now we are going uh to the food so that's my next tractor with my loading wagon so i'm going to make a little bit of room that you guys can see it so here is the place that you need to feed the animals so the sheep you guys can see it if i zoom in they are now eating uh, the little sheep here and you guys see on the ground a lot of grass too that's the stuff that you need to clean how can you clean it clean it you can do it with your loading wagon too so you just put your loading wagon on so turn on a forage wagon so here we go uh, that's okay and then you just drive over it let's have a look so here you see that the clean linen is, is like 64 at the moment so if i drive over it you guys will see that the grass is going away and if we go now back to the menu yeah, it can take some time, so we need to wait a little bit. Yeah, let's uh, see it a little bit later. Because it takes a little bit until it's updated. I'm not sure how that's possible, but you guys see, see still 64. So if I do that in a couple of seconds, it's going to be okay. This area you need to use to feed the animals too. So you guys see here my loading uh, wagon. That's how I picked up the grass. And you can just unload it here too. So let's have a look at F1. Just push E to unload. And you guys will see that I'm now loading my grass in the feeding boxes for the sheep. So it's only six days too. Just the same as with the water. So now we got food. Uh, we got food. We got water. You guys know how you need to do it. You guys know how you need to get it. You know how you need to get the sheep. So now we are almost done for the tutorial. That's how easy it is. It's not that complicated. So now you guys see they got enough water. They got uh, yeah full uh, on grass. Uh, my uh, my cleanliness don't want to go uh, down. I'm not sure. I think it's a glitch again because it's totally clean here. You guys can see it. There is not one small grass pile on the ground so that's perfect but now it's time to show you guys how you need to handle the wool and that's probably uh one of the things that is uh yet yeah, most difficult i think so you guys see here an area again and uh, here is already one pallet with wool so that's how it looks and this setup is, is one of the easiest one because I already set it. The other one is a little bit too hard. So what you need to do is you just yeah go uh, like this. So that's what I do the whole time. So that your forks are nicely over the pallet. Okay, that looks good. Then I go to the side. Oh, it's not perfect. So a little bit more adjustment. Ah, I, I think that I need to get them open. Okay, yeah, they were not open. Yeah, and that's how easy it is. You guys see it's so easy, it's unbelievable. Okay, let's let's do another try. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, so if you use this setup, what you need to do? So you got left mouse button. If you push left mouse button, and you go up with your mouse your front loader is going down if you go down it goes up okay if you go left and right you will see that this piece is going up and down and how do you need to uh yeah let's call them claws how you need to open and close the claws of of uh, the the rapid bail handler that's with the right mouse button 
So for the guys that don't know it, so just click right mouse button and just go left and right. And do you see it? Open and closed. That's how you do it. So first of all, we need to go a little bit lower. So left mouse button. Let's go lower. Let's drive a little bit further. Yeah, right mouse. Let's click it. And there we go back up. And that's how you do it. And it's a lot easier than with the pallet fork. Take it from me. I tried it. I'm never going to do that shit again. That's... Uh, you get a heart attack from it. So what you need to do now is you just need to uh, put it in your tipper. So let's close the F1 that you guys can see it. So let's put the tractor nicely on the place and a little bit higher. So that's the highest that I can go. Whoa, okay. Okay, that's good. So you can just drop it, you know. So let's drop it. Yeah, come on. There you go. So that's how easy it is. What you need to do now is you can, I think, I, I never got one full uh, tripper, but I think you can uh, get yeah a lot of them in it. Be sure that you got full pellets because I'm now showing you guys this, but normally I just wait for a full pellet. Because uh, you guys know if you are uh, using equipment and you are not using equipment 100%, you are going to lose money and time. So, and now it's time to do the end stage of my sheep tutorial. So now we are going to the spinnery. And where can you see the amount of money that you get for uh, one bale of wool, I think it's called. So you just go to the prices of all the crops, then you go to the right here you see spinnery, here you see the wool, and at the moment I get 7,000 for one bale. That's nice money, you know, because the upkeep for sheep is not that expensive, if you compare it with cows. So now it's time to connect this uh, tripper, or tipper, sorry, to my, uh, to my tractor. And let's go, let's go to the spinnery. And that's the end of the video. You guys know everything, how you need to feed them. And uh, I'm going to try to uh, to get a lot of sheep. But they are very expensive, you know. If you want to get 100 sheep, that's 400,000 euros. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's always the same in this game. You need to farm money to make money. And, uh, but I got the impression that you can make a nice amount of money with sheep. I'm not sure because I need to go a little bit more in detail, but uh, it looks really cool if you get like, uh, the wool is coming really quick because at the moment I only got I think 45 or 46 sheep, so that's not a lot. Ah, and it's straight on. By the way, for the guys that don't know, the spinnery is, uh, yeah, near the shop. So, uh... It's just in that area. You guys can see it left uh, bottom. I'm now driving. So let's turn around here. I think that the spinnery is in this street. Yes, there it is. So what you need to do now is you just need to get the tipper over that area on the right. There you see the area. That's the selling area. So let's have a look, because in this game, driving backwards with equipment, it's not a joke, you know, it's a... Uh... Okay, back forwards. Okay, backwards again. Let's hope that, yeah, that, that doesn't look that bad. Come on. I'm not sure. No, it's still... By the way... It's going to sell automatically, so you don't need to do anything. If you are on the right spot, you will be okay. Okay, that's better. Sometimes you need to go a little bit slower. Okay, check my uh, bales of wool, and there they go. So now they are sold. I got 4,314, and by the way, I just saw it, the, the price that you see in the menu is for a full pallet. So it's not, uh, 7,000 is for 4 bales, I thought it was for 1 bale, so I just uh, saw it myself. 
so uh, you need the full palette then you get the price in the menu so that was it guys for my sheep uh, farm tutorial it's a little bit of work you need to invest some money but i think it's fun you know you don't need to do a lot once that you got everything in position uh, you are golden so that was it for this guide guys thanks for watching have fun if you like the video give me a like if you like my channel subscribe please and see you guys later bye bye